Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. You stopped working for us all. How'd you mean? No money in the box for ages. Come on, son. You're the best man among us. Don't go weak on me now. Please. I've been sort of busy, Dutch. I'll get back to it. Thank you, son. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing. A lot. I mean... Innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Yeah, but, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, well, there's always that. Has betrayed us and done it happily. Is reading betrayal in your world, Miss Grimshaw? Not reading this. Idleness. Idleness is betrayal because it means I work so you don't have to. That's not right, is it? I guess not, Miss. You're right, not Missy. On. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here. Who think they war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that? Maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. It's this way. On me. Oh. You know, 
I might have met these crazies before. You been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house, down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. There, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Hey. 
Are you coming? <laughs> Come on. We can get a view on him from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. Well, they're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. You gonna make a call? So, what do we do? Give the You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. As all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my Just people. Just a moment longer. Now, uh, are you? <laughs> Have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be! I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Praise be. Or, uh... Well, I'm glad you're coming to You done yet? Get
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something to get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? You got anything? Not yet. Still nothing. I think we can search the crates, officer. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Give him some whip. Let's go. We need to get these back. Idiot. Come on. G up. Fall in. Roger. Coming our way. Keep it together. Hey! Stop! What's a black... Doing coming out of Shady Bell in one of our wagons. Whoa. What you fellers doing, huh? We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Damn it! Taking your rifles is what we're doing, boy. Boy! I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwood. But... Yeah, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this game. We notice. 
Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? Well, keep one, just from me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Very good. Good evening, Arthur. Hey, Sadie. It's okay, it's okay. Are you gonna How deign to join us, oh great one? Hello. Evening, Arthur. You busy, Arthur? Good evening, Arthur. I don't think so. There he is, the proud Englishman. Don't fight other man's battles, boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. <laughs> Good evening, Arthur. It happens. After that, he passed away. I was drunk for a year. Folk can thank Uncle Micah when the eating's good. Here? Arthur! Stay away from me. Oh, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Sail to Shanghai, I believe. I still am married in a way, but it hasn't been terribly fulfilling. No. I suppose not. Good evening. What is in it? Get some sleep.
Good morning, Arthur. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here? Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches, think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Right, follow me. Come on, girl. Yeah. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off, Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, torn me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for it. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. All right, that left the way. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Oh, 
Up here, Morgan. Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, I don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Let's go back, Here come the rest of them. Where you stash your money, and we let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. Here we are. You got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Hook this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. You find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. 
Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's got to be other places out there like this. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra who's roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger.
Lucky. What they done to you? Whoa there. Easy. Easy, easy. Whoa. Take it easy there. Easy there. Easy there. Your stripes better not rub off on my pants. Yep. him, our zebra. <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. Be a lord of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask, 
All right, I'll see what I can do. That horse don't listen. Never been more than five miles from home. Yeah. You keep lying. You're gonna make me angry, boy. I ain't done a damn Whoa. thing. you pal move along
To our creator, we pay respect to the dead. Welcome back, friend. Sift through, see what you like. Sure, let me see. Not bad, this. Well, you don't do this as a profession, huh? You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Welcome back. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy? Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. I swear, this place is going straight to hell.
after midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying that- I didn't shoot that... him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Uh. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. You coming in or what? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. 
I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Howdy, sir. Glad to see you ain't lazy like some folk I could name. Feel like I'm the only one even trying. Gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse for strangers than ours are.
I think we got a spot. If you ain't working for the Braithwaite's, you can't be walking here. Get <laughs> Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Come on, girl.
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. <laughs> Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the water. Now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. 
That's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Well, man! Oh, my God! Shit! all this trouble! You don't even and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Oh, founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> Philosophy dependent hey. on biology. Sir? What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, little... weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about my Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before the... Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. America. What a land of the future. A land of equality. A land You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean, we're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me.
Yep. Yeah. going on out here, Arthur? Good. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse, and let's go. Okay, my girl. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. 
Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's your spot? Uh, not much further. the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. <laughs> See you in life. Bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlint is gonna stick. Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey! Watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh! Just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Well, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up. Don't tell me you changed your mind. I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. Oh, 
hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for? You won't catch much if you don't cast a line. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. Don't feel very big to me.
I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure, go on, I'll see you later. Yeah, all right, girl. <laughs> 